To continue with our training, we are going to be talking, after having seen such an important topic, how to know how electricity works, we are going to be analyzing the different parts of an electronic board. We can say that every electronic board is divided into two main and fundamental parts. One that is damaged more, one that is damaged less, one a little more robust and another one a little more delicate. What are these two areas? We are talking about the source area and the control area. What do we mean by this source area and control area? Source area, we say, any part of a board that is dedicated to prepare the voltage or prepare the flow of electrons in such a way that all the rest of the plate can use it, I repeat, prepare the voltage and the circulation of electrons so that the control zone can now use it. In the source part, we have already analyzed a very important area, which is diodes and capacitors. We have already been talking about the four rectifying diodes, the fifth division diode, the capacitors, which in this case are two. Now we are going to follow this circuit and understand it, but that is not the only thing that is involved in a source area. In the source zone, there are more components, and that is what we are going to analyze now. This is the most robust part and it is the one that gets the most damage because it is in direct contact with the line voltage. One good thing about this part is that most spare parts are available without any problem, so that is an advantage. Also, but what other component can we find in the source zone? We will start from where the electricity enters, that is, from where the line enters and from where the neutral enters in an electronic board. We will see it in the following electronic board of a conventional equipment. 